And today I'm doing my smoky pancetta carbonara. It's one of my favourites. If you follow me on social media, you know I like good, easy food. Five ingredients, smoky pancetta, parmesan cheese, butter, garlic, eggs and spaghetti. And Travis, welcome back again. One of your favourites, smoky carbonara bacon. Don't mind me, guys. Smoky pancetta or whatever that says up there. <laughs> yeah, you have to fix that. <laughs> most definitely one of my favourites. This is comfort food at its most basic. Um, like our spelling abilities. <laughs> True. But it's all good. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Gore, a couple of big names to come out of Gore. Oh, yes. Yourself and there I. You go. Look where yes. we are now. Did you ever go to the Gold Guitars? I did many times as a child. Nice Dad was to be a, a drag there. Dad was a 10 time finalist. He <laughs> oh, judged nice. for a few years. <laughs> That's good. Old Jimmy Thompson. Um, right, so today, carbonara, very basic. Yep. Six ingredients. That's all it is. It's a, good, it's a good recipe if you've got stuff left in the fridge at home, like leftover bacon. There's always a like, block of cheese left there, um, and spaghetti. Is always a staple that's in the in the pantry. So. Okay, so we've got the six ingredients, but what's the Travis twist on it? Well, there's no cream. Right. So okay. a lot of people, when they think carbonara, well, I've got to put cream in it. Well, you don't with this one. We're going to use eggs instead. So um, we'll take the whole bunch here. Yep. Um, you can be on spaghetti duties. Okay, cool. The whole lot in 12 minutes is all it takes, and that will be perfect. Okay, so um, we'll, when it starts to melt down, a bit of oil, and um, if you give it a good season of salt right, there. Cool. Um, while you're doing that, I'll just take the pancetta. This is going to be like the flavouring of our sauce. It's the, the, bo uh, the bacony taste. Um, so that's what pancetta is, is fancy bacon. Um, I'm just going to roughly chop it so it's still decent, like bite-sized bits mm -hmm. um, when it comes into our sauce. Um, if you could just turn the fry pan on there for us. Yep, OK, I can handle we'll, that. And um, we'll get some heat into that. Oh. It smells good, that More smoky enough. bacon, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, everyone's hungry today, so I'll do some extra. Oh, good. Nice. Mainly, mainly it's just me, mate. It's yeah. me that's hungry. I'm not, <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> right, so we'll get a couple of knobs of butter there into the pan. Yep, the pan's on. Knobs of butter. Recipe at thecafe.co.nz if you need it. Uh, from there, we take garlic. Now, we're not going to dice it. We're only going to smash it yep. and then put it in. Okay. It's just to sort of give the, uh, the butter a bit of flavouring. Okay. So we just crush it under our knife. Yes. You don't take the skins off? You don't care? No, because no, that makes it easier for us to pick it out okay. uh, at the end. So we'll nice. just get some heat into there. Mm -hmm. um, now at this stage, we're going to fry off our bacon and then uh, hopefully when we come back, uh, spaghetti will be done. Yes. Um, and then I'll move you on to making our sauce and combining the two ingredients. Okay, great. Well, that's it. We're just going to wait for this pan to heat up. Yeah, we'll get the butter and the in there now. The smoky pancetta going together. The spaghetti is underway. And then we'll come back. So and, simple. Yeah, no, good. And filling too, I would imagine. Very filling. Yeah, nice, nice recipe. So what have you been up to, actually, recently, since we last saw you? Uh, well, it's been a lot of cooking. It's been a while, yeah. I've um, not so much of uh, the televised cooking. A lot, right. less, a lot less pressure. But um, I sort of do a lot of catering for... Um, for events for people, they get me along. So, oh, good. Normally up to 12 people at home, kind of thing. I can handle by myself. Anything more, I have to get a few extra hands. But um, secretly, my real job is I work as a, in civil construction, doing wow. property development. So okay, nice. Chef oh, well, by day, the... worker by night. That's no, where the that's money the way is. Around. I'm yeah. not a night worker, am I? I'm supposed to keep that secret. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, moving along. Yes. <laughs> you let the cat go, out of the bag. I'll go yeah. back to the pan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we'll come back a little later on and show you how much more you need to do to get this recipe absolutely perfect. And if you need it, just go to thecafe.co.nz. We need to finish off this, Travis. We've got our spaghetti cooking and our pancetta's been nicely fried with a little bit yep. of garlic. What now? Yep. So from this process, we're going to make as cream sauce. Okay, with no cream. With this no cream. Interesting. So the eggs. So while I'm doing that, I'll just get you to pick out the bits of garlic that okay. we've left, left whole. Mm -hmm. So for this step, guys, what we're going to do is we take our four eggs and we need three egg yolks and then we'll put one egg in as a whole. So I'll go the first one in whole myself. Oh, what let's, ho let's, let's hope that I don't uh, split the... Are you eating the bacon? There's just little bits of bacon on the, on the garlic and I can't, you know... <sighs> It's not me you'll have to contend with if there's not enough. Yeah, well, true, that's a very good point. <laughs> it smells divine when you cook bacon, doesn't it? It does. It like, lightens up the room. So I just use my fingers. It's the easiest way to separate an egg. OK. Um, we'll run the risk if I've we've made a bit of a mess, but it's all right, we'll clean that up. Um, hopefully none of them, they're all still whole. Um, so by making this, you don't have to use cream. So I know right. there's still dairy in there, there's cheese. And a lot of people, you know, they're probably more sensitive to cream than they are to parmesan cheese. That's a good point. So um, I think that this is, a, a, I call it a healthier option. 
But um, I don't know if you'd call using so much butter as I do, or <laughs> butter, as someone as else Martin, here normally Martin, uh, he'll be proud likes, of you. likes to use. He'll be proud of you, Travis. <laughs> so, right, we've got that all in there. Yeah. We're going to take probably about half a cup of cheese. Yes. In there as well, and this is what's going to be the body of our sauce. OK. It's our alternative to cream. Yeah. So we're going to give that a, a quick whisk. I had a whisk here. You had a Use whisk? Use a fork. That's all right. Yep. Improvise. We don't salt. Don't salt the eggs when the eggs aren't cooked. It actually it, it affects the way that they cook. Oh, really? OK. So we're only just giving a stir just to combine all those That's ingredients like that. Sometimes when I'm making scrambled eggs, I'll salt and pepper it before I uh, cook yeah, it. Yeah, big no-no. OK, there you go. So um, you're learning lots. I'll take this over. Well, can you give us a hand? We'll just quickly drain this off, the yes. spaghetti. OK. Now... You want your starchy water, though, don't you? We do, yeah. So we'll just take a jug. Look at this. <laughs> You think I do this quite often, don't you? That's how good I am. Well, no, if you're going to come and host at home, you can be crazy like this. <laughs> A lot of people want to know how you do Bring that. Bring it with us. We'll quickly come over here and strain it off. Okay. Now, the key is with that pancetta that we've cooked off, we don't want too much heat in that pan because yep. it's going to cause our eggs here to curdle. So here's okay. the quick bit. We back into the pan. Yes. Just put that out of the way. Mm-hmm. Put in our eggs, and we're going to start just combining them all. OK. Oh, well, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous your eggs are going to scramble in that spaghetti. No, it should be right. OK. And we come in now with a bit of water. Yeah. Put the water in last. Just around the outside. Bind all our ingredients. Nice. OK, this is looking good. It smells incredible, by the way. I forgot to ask, did you make sure that that was al dente before you...? Oh, yeah, no, no, we checked it. It's all good. Oh, look, there's a bit of a garlic. I'll get that get out. Get that bit There's a bit of bacon attached to it. But, oh, hold... Mm. Mm. Right, so we're not far off from being done. OK, good. So I, this is, this is yes. going to be hearty. It's going to be really, really tasty too. It's delicious. It's more, it's like, it's, it's, as I said, it's comfort food. It's mm. stuff I love to eat at home. Simple, how long's it taken us? Like 15 minutes to yep. do the whole lot. Longest bit's waiting for the, for the pasta. So, um, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll pick off some parsley. Yes. And we'll plate it up. Is that it? Nice that's and it, easy. Mate, that's, that's it. That is brilliant. I love it. And you don't have to go to the dairy to get some cream because <laughs> if you've got eggs and a bit of cheese, you just use that as your cream base. Fantastic no, no work, Travis. No such thing as too much cheese. And how's the carbonara turned out? Mate, there's enough for everyone. <gasps> Look at that! <gasps> Quick That's finish a with, a bit of che with a bit of cheese. Yum! More cheese? There's no <laughs> such thing as too much cheese, is there? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that, I'm happy with that. Well, that was so fast, and look at it. That would be enough to feed a flat of oh, ten. There's, there's no green stuff on that, Travis. Oh, who needs Shh, it? Don't come on. <laughs> <laughs>